Greetings everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and you are watching a UFT series tutorial. Today we are still in the output value and we are just switching to another option. In this tutorial you will be understanding about XML output values which is just to export uh, the XML parameters from the runtime data. Generally from the checkpoint understanding by now you would be knowing what exactly XML checkpoint are and the same way similar way instead of just comparing from the application during runtime you can uh, generally have a uh, export of the value from the XML parameters that what were the XML parameters which were fetched or uh, you know used during the script and so on. So generally to perform the same thing we have a general process as you have been doing for the other uh, output values. So let's get started with the same thing here and in case you have any query to understand more about what XML parameters are and how do we create an XML file or XML parameter you can quickly visit the previous tutorial about XML checkpoint. So let's get started with the same. So here we have got a new test uh, all together and we can see uh, we have got a fresh test which we are taking and all I would need is a resource to extract the XML file. So uh, just like the previous time, you know, I have a folder here on the desktop. So let me just quickly come to the desktop. I have my UFT folder and there is a XML file. If you want, you can right click on edit and you can see these are the XML data what I'm using where the password is the uh, parameter name and the value is HP and uh, the next parameter is user and the password is my name. So uh, it's just that you can also create such a XML parameter fields and we can have the XML file. So let's click on record which would require to do the same thing and you can go ahead and uh, click on XML output from resource. If you want you can also do it without recording it is just to import the same thing. So let's uh, import the file which we have say open and uh, okay now it has captured certain parameters so just select all uh, okay so he wants me to select the entire node we obviously not have the clarity that what exactly we are looking for so let's have a parameter selection for example the value uh, what you want to compare for example, this is my parameter what I want to extract. So generally what happens maybe, you know, I don't want to know the parameter name. I just want to have the values of each one of them and where do you want to extract it. So say uh, this should be XML uh, underscore the password. So PWD and it will be stored in data table global sheet. Okay. And another one I want the value for the user. So this will be XML underscore user and say OK. And that's all. This is how you add it. And you just say OK to this and click fine. So go for a stop recording. And you have got uh, a checkpoint here, which generally it's not about checkpoint, it's output. So generally for checkpoint, you will get check checkpoint. And this is output checkpoint for this particular file. At the bottom, if you see, I've got two parameters, uh, one for the password, one for the username, and we will be retrieving the data from the runtime. So all we have to do is just click on run because this does not require, it's an additional external file, so you don't need application to be there as a part of it. So just click run on this and you must be expecting a pass status for this execution. And moreover, we are looking at the extracted values. So let's come to the data tab and you see that password is HP and the XML username is my name. Now just to quickly show you a different result than this, that how does it impact. So let's go to the file manager and uh, edit the same data here and uh, let's change the password to something else. For example, Mercury, which was actually the owner, parent owner of this particular software right from the QDB. And the username say for example, John Doe. And uh, let's save this, control S and close. And let's come back to UFD and click on run. So the checkpoints are not supposed to be updated at any point of time. If you wish to do that, you can always go back to uh, repository to modify them. So let's come to the data tab and you can see that it has been exported. So generally it's just the extraction either from the application or from an external file of XML parameters. And you can export them as a part of your execution just like any other output value. 
So this is how you work with XML. I think that was really interesting for you and something new to understand about uh, UFD. More than that, of course, you can look, you know, keep looking at the upcoming tutorials about UFD. We'll be having some more output values in tune. More than that, we will be having different tutorials following on this channel after UFD is done. So stay tuned for that. In, in case you're not subscribed for the channel yet, do that. That will help you to stay updated with all my tutorials. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep practicing. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.